Well, if you thought last year the Model S and X got a ton of interior changes, you'd be probably kind of surprised to find out that already into 2022, Tesla is making across-the-board updates to the Model S and X, which I guess shouldn't be too surprising considering Tesla loves updating things as soon as the technology is ready, even though this also tends to complicate model year numbers. It's like, okay, did you get a late 2021 model or an early 2021 model? And there's actually differences between those two, but thanks to the kilowatts and Sawyer Merritt, we've actually heard sources say that they shut down the Model S assembly line at Fremont just so that they could update the headlights and do the updated taillight design. A few people have already spotted this updated taillight design. Couple that with a new, much, much larger charge port door than before. The kilowatts has already spotted Model X's with this much larger charge port door, and the reason behind this change is not entirely clear. I mean, some people love the new taillight design and not having that big black bar across the back. I kind of thought it looked nice, but regardless, these new brake lights don't seem to be inherently that different than before. It'd be kind of nice to have some animations with that tail light or even have a light bar of some kind, but I imagine having that larger charge port door helps simplify the assembly lines when you're developing Model S's and X's for overseas. There's already been Model S VINs assigned to people outside the US, and of course, they're gonna need the CCS connector on there, which will not fit in that old style, tiny Model S charge port door. So now there's less complexity in the assembly line overall, but for us in the US, it probably doesn't make a whopping difference. However, what will make a larger difference is this updated Model S headlight, which is supposed to finally be getting the Matrix LEDs that have been on the Model 3 lines for a while. And thanks to some more legalization by the NHTSA, which doesn't happen every day, mind you, adaptive LED headlights have now become legal in the United States, which they already were in other countries. I have no clue why the US took so long to legalize this, but basically, this new headlight design allows for the computer in the car to identify, oh, there's a car in front of you, or there's a pedestrian, and it will basically not shine too brightly towards those moving objects as to not blind other drivers or blind pedestrians, but everywhere that you don't have a car or a pedestrian to worry about, you're gonna have really, really bright lights. It essentially works like a projector or even really a display with how you shine what's in front of you, and it should only be a matter of weeks where Tesla starts unlocking this adaptive adaptive LED technology in all of the United States vehicles. Unfortunately, the refreshed Model S's made before this shutdown aren't gonna have the headlights to support that, which is a bit of a bummer, especially for people who spent $130,000 on their Plaid Model S's. Now there's already a new version that's gonna have a better headlight design. I also think it overall looks better from the outside because it matches with the glossy black trim that we got with the updated Model S and X. But some good news for the Plaid owners moving forward is that you will now get that badge that was originally exclusive to the Plaid Event Model S's on every single version. It has a bit less depth to it, and it's more integrated into the back, but now every single Plaid Model S is going to have that badge instead of just the traditional Plaid wording on the back. And so far, all the reports about the Model S line shutting down didn't really detail too much about the Model X, so I'm unsure if the Model X is getting the Matrix LED headlights soon, or maybe they've already been baking it in, it's not entirely clear yet, but there's still no Matrix LED headlights on the Long Range Model Y though, which is a bit confusing. Maybe Tesla's waiting until Giga Texas is operational to turn that on, but yeah, they even demoed these adaptive LEDs at GigaFest in Germany, so it's definitely not brand new technology, and it's kind of surprising that they didn't want to put it on the Model S when they refreshed it originally. But yeah, now you already know some of the updates coming to the Model S and X line in 2022. Obviously, much, much smaller changes than what we got in 2020. But hey, good changes, I think, overall. And while it may confuse those model year specifications a little bit, I do think it's a great thing that as soon as a new technology is ready, Tesla will implement it as soon as possible. They're not going to wait for the next calendar year. I love that because no other car company is going to do things like that. They would rather push stuff off so they can have big refreshes later. But I think a lot of people are going to appreciate these new headlights. And I can't wait for that software update to roll out. And hopefully that'll be on our Tesla when we take delivery later this year. Which reminds me, thank you to everyone on on Patreon supporting the Tesla fund. And of course, people just watching the channel, that makes a big difference too. Take care, have a great day.